Okay, guys, let's skip the chase, get right to the source. We're going to now run remote play for PlayStation 4 or 5 in the home. Let's go to Downloader and type in 582449. Follow the prompts, install it, because once we're done with that, we're going to put that to the side. Uh, it's a quick install. You can even sign in with your credentials. There's no launcher needed for this. So sign up with your credentials. This is just a regular PlayStation app. You can chat, you can check games that you have. Ah, 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 ah. Right? Cool. It's useless until today. So let's head back over to Downloader. All right, we're gonna type in 462484 for PlayStation 4 and 5. This is gonna give us the remote play app. This is where it changes now. It's going to link, click on the old version, it's very important that you click on the old version. Now that you have the app already installed in the Oculus, the PlayStation app, and you're signed into it, it, once you go and follow the prompts for the install for the PlayStation Remote Play app, it's going to do what it does and find it inside the app and just bring you right to the link. You're going to now link your PlayStation with a code, go to your PlayStation. Go to remote play, add devices, and give you a code, you put it in there, it's gonna link to PlayStation like this, and you 